to Woodset Central. Our first task today is to fit the cross members to the bottom section of the board. I've already set this up with some clamps, we'll show you this now. So once again I've set this up with my level and what I'm going for here is to get the bubble of the level absolutely in the centre. If I just pan round a little, you can see uh, we have that set there nicely with the bubble in the middle of the track. So that's now level and aligned with the cross members that I put in place in part one of the video. So that's the first cross member in place and we have it nice and and as required it's perfectly level. So now we've got the second crossover piece in position and again we've got that nicely leveled so uh, the next job is to fit uh, the baseboard to the cross members. I've now turned the baseboard upside down and I'm going to drill and fix the back support timber and once that's done I'll flip the board over and fix the board to the cross members. So having fixed the back wall and turned the baseboard back over the right way up, next thing is to mark the centre lines of the cross members so that I can drill and fix. So I put three screws into each of the cross members which will help to hold the base rigid and stop it from warping. I will leave a, an expansion gap in between each board to allow the boards to expand during the summer. We now make a start on the right hand side, the right hand baseboard. As you can see I've got it clamped up to fit the back support. So whilst it's clamped I'll drill it and clamp the, the backboard to it. So side two is now complete. Screwed down, all nice and level. So tomorrow we'll crack on and mount the baseboards to the bottom section. That's the plan. The next step is to fix the back and side to the corner pieces. So I have one of the corner pieces clamped to the bench ready for drilling and then, then I will screw it down. So that's the back piece fitted and screwed down. I now fit the side piece which goes up against the, the wall you can see. So now I've clamped up the side piece ready for drilling and fixing. The final bit of fitting the corner is to put a lip on it so that the centre section that crosses the, the loft uh, has something to rest upon when it's put in place. So that completes the corner piece. Um, so I now move on and do the corner piece on the opposite side. So I've clamped the corner board up with the piece that runs along the back of it ready for uh, drilling and screwing. So as you can see I've completed the other corner piece and fix that into place. I've cut the baseboard for the cross panel. I can't fix it yet because I need to buy some more timber to make the supports for the underside. If I don't support it it will bow and uh, that would obviously spoil the overall effect. So it's down to uh, my local supplier tomorrow. Hopefully we get the job done when we get back.